I don't consider myself no rapper, but on this album here, I, I, w I was doing a lot of rapping on this album, man. For some reason, I'm feeling a lot of raps. I don't know why, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and John would get mad at me, man, because I couldn't write no checks because I was writing raps, man. You know? But you know, that's just my job, man. So, you know, I, I, stepped, I stepped up my game, you know, lyrically, man. You know what I'm saying? I stepped up my game lyrically. I still don't consider myself no rapper. No. Girl, I hit your door with nothing in my mind. So when you feel it freaky, call me anytime. You say tonight no small talk or full play. Only Purple Joe, Alize, and Hennessy. All the crazy things you do to me, girl. <clears throat> go back, go back, go back. <laughs> That's all good. We we you wanna do it again, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh boy. Studios sometimes just get hectic putting the records together. Cause you you are forced to be creative sometimes because you got deadlines and shit. That's the only bad part of studio. I think we definitely getting the respect, man, because it's like over the years, man, like Atlanta in general, the music scene has just been making a lot of hits and you know what I'm saying, changing the game up. Uh, I think what it is, yeah, a lot of times, man, the artists get picked up because they got a hot song on the radio. But, I mean, I think the, the major labels make the artists and people behind them artists rush and put an album together so they can just hurry up and get some shit out. And that be the problem why the shit don't work, because they don't have no other shit on the album like what the single was or maybe not as good. And I think that's what be the problem sometimes. You got to take time in making your records, man, you know, because... I look at it like that's, you know, that's that's like a cat got nine lives. That's one of your lives you wasting. You know what I'm saying? Because you can only get so many records. Y'all give it up, ATL. This for y'all right here. A man in the sun. Enjoy the east side. Go and make some damn noise. Lil John made it. Normally, when, Lil, when I play Lil John records, I just know it's just a club banger. I just know it's something that's going to make people move. You know what I'm saying? Like Lil John, he just to me is like a master at making them club kind of records that kind of automatic, you know when you hear them that they're gonna be hot records. All the New York rappers, they show us respect like if we was on their same level. And like like Sam said, we don't consider ourselves rappers. We ain't got a book of rhymes. We don't be freestyling. So we don't do none of that shit, so we don't consider ourselves rappers. But the rappers give us respect, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely think if they're giving us respect, they're giving the whole South and the general respect, you know? Like Ludacris selling three million records, an album, Outkast, 10 million. You know, you can't deny none of that shit, too, you know what I'm saying? You can't, the numbers are there, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we, we putting it down in the south. We on the set of the I Don't Give a Fuck video. Lil Johnny Eastside Boys, Crazy Bone, Mystical. So, you know what I'm saying? We, um, we just doing our thing today, man. We trying to do some more different shit. And uh, that's how we roll. <laughs> Come on, Peter Kay. Shit. Come on, boy. Get in the video, man. I just need some more bodies, man. Just do the back. You ain't got to get cooked, huh? Here we go. 
We crunk, we, we, we the kings of crunk in the south, you know what I'm saying?